Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. We're about to head into St. John's Dairy here with the gang. St. John Family Dairy. Daily farm tours. See how we kept this place so safe. Hmm. All the electrified fencing there, huh? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. <laughs> We're pushing four thousand volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to. Is that a lot? a lot? I have no idea. I mean, four thousand volts. That sounds like a lot. Uh, any accidents? Brilliant setup. We can't have the kids around the fences. Uh, let's go with a brilliant setup. A really brilliant Give him a nice setup. compliment. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence hmm. all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Um, Lily, of course. It's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on. Have you seen I, it I though, you lady? Someone else was running things. Oh yeah. Uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Uh, we brought gasoline. We'll go with gasoline. Maybe get that trade going here. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Some biscuits. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Well, we got a vet. What's she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Oh, well, let's well, pump the brakes there, bud. Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'd be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Alright, so give me a comment on down below if you kind of figured out what's going on, because I got my own thoughts on what the uh, St. John's are doing here. Dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. Oh, of course we can. Something about our fence. <laughs> I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh, let's make sure the place is safe. Uh, we can, uh, uh, place is safe. I'm getting weird vibes from this. I don't know about you guys. We need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they it's too good safe, to be true. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Yeah, but if they don't have kids. But they're, you know, if they don't have kids, they're not looking to fix a broken swing right away. Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. All right, well, let's go take a take a look around the farm here with Lee as we're hopping back in. I know it's been a while for the game, uh, so make sure you go back and check out some of the earlier episodes. We uh, played the first chapter. This is about uh, a little bit into the second chapter. I bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. Hmm. <laughs> I'll bet. Uh. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck, and let the St. Johns know we can pull our weight around here. There you go, Lee. That's some. That's some good thinking, Lincoln. See if we can find some rope and a new board. Uh, we've got 
the axe, and I don't know what the, the little cracker is or the gear. Uh, we don't want to go up yet. I want to look at everything around here. Let's go here, here, and see what he's got to say. So found out. Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. All right, so the light must be telling you the fence is live. They tell they built this thing themselves. Hey, but you know what? Sometimes the best built thing is uh, the best built thing. All right, let's see what this fence. Can we pull a board off this fence? Okay, we got some. There's the saw. We got some boards here. We'll grab us one. But if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. How about the saw right next door? Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Alright. Come on, Lee. There you go. Slice, dice, and serve on rice. That nail sticking out of it? Man, I wish I could put a board in my pocket like that. Alright, uh, look at electric fence. We already did that. Alright, let's go fix that and then we'll come back and we'll talk to Andy here. Or we gotta find another rope, right? Is that what he said? Let's see, yeah, we'll do this, see what this allows us to do. It might... I don't know, where would we go get rope? The barn? Maybe we'll have to talk to him first. The board is good, but I need some rope. Yeah, okay. Back this way, Lee, good job. Let's see what Andy has to say. I don't think we want to go up to the house just quite yet. No, we're not gonna go up to the house. I feel like that's asking for trouble. Alright, so Andy's over here. He might be able to tell us... Oh, let's open this gate. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? I'm gonna look for some rope. Just trying Just to help. Trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. All right. Well, then I guess we're not going that way. So let's take a peek at the Jenny, and then we'll generator. Talk to you Andy. Come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and <laughs> I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. All right, let's see what he's got to say. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Something like that. Um... We can help protect the dairy. Yeah, we'll go yeah, for that. If you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully, it'll never come to that. But thanks. Fence to stop our first guess. Um, I guess yeah. Let's go fix the perimeter. We'll have to find the rope later. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Mmm, foreshadowing there. I feel something's coming our way. All right, let's head out to the northwest quad. Oh, this is a farm's a lot bigger than they made it seem like. I mean, that's a good, what, quarter of a mile, half mile? At least perception-wise. How's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. <laughs> Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? Uh, we'll work it out somehow. I try to be civil. We'll just go for we'll work it out somehow. somehow. Well, Try to keep the, the middle road. Uh, ooh, there's a... There's one. Bolt in that one. Or arrow? Ugh. Yeah, arrow. He's been fu ride. It's dead. Come on, let's push it off. All right, so the light's off. And let's just go ahead and push this guy off. Looks like he's stuck. Okay, we got to take the arrow out first. Hmm. All right, now let's give him a good old push here. Surprised they're not making me do the quick reaction time to click that off. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, 
Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Uh, it's useless without gas. Fortunately, people defend it. Maybe we'll go with gas. Useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. <laughs> we could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Yeah, but I'm getting bad vibes. Uh, they're delaying the Neville. We can take this place if we have to. What, what do you mean? mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. F ride again. All right, let's push this one off. Do we got to make sure this one's dead? Ooh, the hands are hands are locked on there. Uh, okay, let's slice that hand off. We'll slice this other hand off. Boom. Down Never it goes. Smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Really should get the hands off too, but I guess we'll leave those there. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Uh, we'll go ask for more to eat after. Yeah, I'm hungry I'm too. Hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. Yeah. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Alright, so Lee, hop on over. Little help here, Lee? Yeah, I'm coming. So is he wrapped up in it? Okay. There's the quick reaction time that I was expecting. Bada bing, bada boom, up he Holy goes. Fuck. What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? Because he, he knows we're out here. Didn't want us taking the Oh! Wait, what? What the get to the gate! Nope, that's not gonna happen. Get behind the tractor, guys. Come on. Tractor, tractor, tractor. This is the same guys we bumped into earlier, right? Fuck. Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Where's our food, you asshole? Alright, so they got push tractor. My guess is we probably need to get these up. Yeah, let's get the plow up. There we go. All right, now we can probably push this thing. Nope, not yet. All right, so maybe there's another break. We got the plow up. Is there a... Let's come over this way, see if we can see something. Ah, oh, there we go, brake lever. Of course. I know, but undo the brake, Lee. Oh, there's a chalk. Okay, let's get that. Why would they have a chalk in front of it out in the field? We can get through this fence and back to the house. All right. Shit, that hurts. Come on, guys. Why haven't they just rushed us yet? They know we don't arm, or we're not armed. Whatever. Oh, we got a body here. Okay, we're gonna have to push that body out of the way in a second. Thump. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move it. All right. Well, then grab it and let's move it. All right, let's pull this guy out of the way. Come on, Lee, pull, you got it, man. All right, there we go. All right, almost to that silo. God, they are shooting a lot of arrows for not a lot of outcome. Another body? Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Three? All right, let's clean this one up. Um, grab this one here and pull. Oh, he's still alive. All right, come on, Lee. Break free, break free, Lee. Kick him in the face. One more time. Maybe a third time? Alright. Uh, ooh, we pulled him in half. Well, throw him on the fence. Okay, enough. Oh, and he's chasing us? Come on, guys. Alright, it's gonna hit the silo, then we'll hit the gate here in a second. This gate. Ooh, takes one in the head. Down he goes. Get out of here. Yeah, go through the gate. You lucky sons of bitches. Why wouldn't you guys have rushed us? You guys totally would have had us. You knew we were unarmed. You had arrows. I'm assuming you have some sort of melee weapon. Jeez. Lee, what's wrong? 
Well, Lee's doing fine. Um, ambush. We'll go. There's a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out. God damn it hurts. <laughs> hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have your What is going out. on here? These people are absolutely what kind crazy. Of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was. Uh, it was a fluke. It was just a fluke thing. You can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know hmm. where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Mm-hmm. We'll take good care of them. Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. Hmm. What we need to do is find a way to get yeah, right, Kenny. out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm going to head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. <laughs> that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Seems like a fair enough trade. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. Oh, how nice kids of them. like swings. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Uh, I'm getting horrible vibes from this. Some something bad's gonna happen. Ignoring the whole arrow thing, but there's there's gotta be something a lot deeper that we're not seeing. So leave me a comment on down below what you think that deeper issue is here at the St. John Dairy. Um, I got my own ideas, but I don't want to say it out too loud. So if you want to see what they're doing, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in orally fashion. Like the video, just so I know that I'm doing well. You can always leave me a comment on video quality, commentary quality, anything like that. I always love feedback. I want to make the best videos I can for you guys. So let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what I can do better. Let me know what I can do different. Uh, I would love to hear that. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.